chocolate eggs delivered by a kindly giant bunny rabbit who loves nothing more than for you to have a good old candy hunt. Sounds too good to be true, but is it? And if it is, where exactly does the fable come from? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions and happy Easter to you. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm asking, is the Easter bunny real? Before I launch into this video, I just want to ask you guys to hit that thumbs up button and let me know what your favourite Easter egg is. Not to digress or anything, but I recently came across this dinosaur egg with a little chocolate dinosaur in it and like, I don't know, Easter Bunny, if you're watching, help a honey out. Mm. The Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny. What do these three characters have in common? Well, kids, maybe close your ears because ooh, they're not real. Like, at all. Now that may be the quickest I've ever answered a question, but hold on there. With popular fables like these, there is always a shred of truth or some kind of real world origin. So why don't we find out why exactly we've constructed a floppy eared confectionery giving friend. The Easter Bunny comes from the German Lutherans in and around the 15th century. They talked of a colourful egg laying Easter hare, Osterhors, who would judge whether children were good or bad at Easter time. In order to please the hare, children would make baskets for it to lay its eggs in. Celebrating the time of year, actual baskets were made with painted eggs in them for decoration. Eventually, the notion travelled over the seas from Europe to the United States in the 1700s as German immigrants settled in Pennsylvania. From there, the tale spread and like all traditions spread by the word of mouth, over time the hare became a rabbit and instead of laying eggs in a nest, the goodly bunny delivered chocolate eggs in a basket. But why? Why bunnies and eggs at Easter? Why are these the chosen symbols for a Christian celebration. Well, Easter is a religious holiday that celebrates new life. As the story goes, Jesus died on the cross, but after he was buried, he rose again. Not so coincidentally, we choose to celebrate this holiday as winter turns to spring and new life is being celebrated across nature. Previously barren branches begin to blossom, bulbs begin to flower, and animals start giving birth to their young. With the notion of birth and rebirth, Easter is very much a time for fertility, and indeed the holiday is linked to historic pagan celebrations. In fact, Easter gets its name from Easter, a Germanic goddess of spring and fertility. With that in mind, eggs seem a pretty appropriate symbol for this season, as do bunnies when you factor in the saying, at it like rabbits. Um. What is more interesting is that these pretty blatant, now that we think about it, sex symbols are aimed at children. With all of this in mind, what the Easter Bunny represents is rooted in reality and tied up in nature, so in a sense it is kind of real. Like all fairy tales, the stories are as real to us as we want them to be. Perhaps a more interesting question though might be what would life be like if there was a giant six foot bunny that snuck into your house at night and hid chocolate eggs for you to find? What a concept, what a creep. Now that whole can of worms may well make for a fun future episode of Life's Biggest Questions. So guys, do you think the Easter Bunny is real? Do you wish it was? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also let me know whether or not you're celebrating Easter this year and how. I will hopefully be going on some kind of adventure with my chocolate dinosaur Easter eggs. Yum. Thank you guys, that's all I have for now. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and click that big beautiful notification bell if you want to be the first to hear a big answer. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but for now, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. Thank you